Welcome back, everyone. As mentioned before, a little bit of activity was in our eastern areas, but it's pushed to the east and kind of dissipated as you see there. But that chance is going to continue for this evening because uh, we can still see some isolated activity pop up. Also, some activity to the northwest. Not much, but it could get into a northwestern areas here in the next hour or so. So temperatures out there in the 80s. We have 89 degrees at the airport, 88 in Gina, 86 in Marksville. A little bit rain cooled air in Natchez as they did have some scattered activity that passed by them about an hour ago. You notice uh, 86 in Natchitoches, a pair of 88s to the southwest for Leesville and Ritter. You notice most of the activity today to our east, and that's what we expected with just isolated activity in our area. It also becomes more scattered, widespread uh, to our southwest as well. One thing you notice in some cooler, drier air to the north that will eventually work in. That's associated with a cool front there, and that cool front's going to come in later on tonight, and uh, we're still going to see a little bit of uh, that chance of a stray shower, too, for your Wednesday behind the front. Uh, because uh, it's going to take a while for that uh, for that uh, drier air to work in, but it will, will eventually work in as we head on to your Thursday. So that trough continues to move in from the north, and then we dry things out Thursday and Friday. And as we head into the weekend, you'll notice a trough low pressure passes us by to the north toward the Great Lakes. That allows a secondary cool front to roll into the area, and uh, that will create about a 10 to a 20 percent chance of a stray shower or so, but more dry air comes in behind that front and um, continues kind of a dry weather pattern some dry conditions in the early next week and behind the front it's going to be a little bit stronger temperature wise than what uh, the one tonight will so we will get into the uh, mid to low 80s for highs as we head into your uh, Sunday Monday and uh, maybe even Tuesday of next week so you notice muggy to uh, humid conditions over the next few days even behind this first front but as we get, get behind the second front it looks like like I said it's going to be a little bit uh, more uh, a little bit stronger and it's going to to allow some uh, cooler conditions, not only that, but a little bit more pleasant conditions behind it. So again, this evening, maybe some isolated activity popping up or even moving in from the northwest. And then uh, tonight, we dry things out. Tomorrow, some activity pops up once again, but most of the activity is going to be east of us, maybe into our eastern areas, just isolated activity possible across our area. And as we head on to your Thursday, even behind the front, you notice temperatures really don't budge too much, still upper 80s for most of us. And you also notice a straight shower can't be ruled out but overall those rain chances are going to be less for your Thursday behind that front but here's a look at your rain chances for your Wednesday tomorrow the best chances in our eastern areas as previously mentioned 40% uh, chance of scattered activity more isolated for our central and southwestern areas 30% down to a 20% to the north and west and that's basically uh, indicative of that drier air moving in from that direction most of us seeing less than a tenth of an inch of precipitation so not expecting much for tomorrow. Starting off in the upper 60s, there's that slim rain chance in the morning and then more uh, isolated storm activity there for the afternoon hours. Temperatures in the uh, uh, mid 80s for the high. You notice mid 80s for your Wednesday, 90 for your Thursday, 91 for your Friday. Like I said, that cool front doesn't do much for us temperature wise, but it does dry us out a little bit. Only a 20% chance of isolated activity for your Thursday. We zero things out completely for your Friday. Friday looking to be the warmest day in the next several days as well. Well, as we head into the weekend, maybe a 20% chance of a stray shower storm with that uh, cool front that comes through. But once again, it kind of reinforces the drier air behind it. Also a little bit cooler, like I said, packing a little bit more of a punch temperature wise. Highs in the low to mid 80s for the first part of next week. I'll tell you what, those thunderstorms last night were pretty loud. Yeah, they were. We had a cluster of them that moved through the metro. They were seeking the heat. And with the urban heating effect that we have this time of year, they seek that heat and they came right into the metro. They sure did. Well, luckily, uh, next couple of days, it looks like things are a little bit calmer. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Barrett. The U.S.